Here we will solve problem 4.3 from the book Applied Thermodynamics Mekong and Heat Stroke. Here is the statements. So 0.05 kg of steam at 10 bar dryness fraction 0.84 is heated reversibly in a rigid basis until the pressure is 20 bar. Calculate the change of entropy and the heat supplied. Show the area which represents the heat supplied on a TH diagram. So the mass that is given uh, of the steam that is 0.05 kg and steam at so the pressure p1 initially that is 10 bar so we convert that 10 bar into uh, mega pascal it will be simple just uh, divide it with 10 so p1 divided by 10 and you will get that is 1 mega pascal so the steam table from to read uh, this pressure in steam table it must be necessary to convert that into mega pascal because the steam table here i provided its portion uh, that uh, pressure is in the mega pascal that's why we are converting into mega pascal and the dryness fractions x1 that is given 0 0.84 is heated reversibly in a rigid vessels so that volumes at both the stages that is the same so v1 and v2 that will be same so it is given in the statement until the pressure is 20 bar so the pressure is uh, heat is supplied until the pressure reach up to 20 bar so again when you convert that into mega pascal it will be become 2 mega pascal calculate the change of entropy we need to find the change in entropy and the heat that is supplied <coughs> solution so first we draw the TS diagram on the basis of the points that we have provided pressure that is here is 20 bar the pressure here is 10 bar so the first point will lie at this line and within the width region because we have provided the dryness fraction so it will be understood that uh, the state point 1 will lie within the width region so this is our state point one so the corresponding intro at this stage will be s1 <coughs> the state point two the pressure 20 bar that is 2 mega pascal uh, is lie in the superheated steam table so it is understood that uh, our state point two lie in the superheated region and its corresponding entropy will become s2 so our process will follow the path at a constant uh, volume that will be this line so from 1 to 2 from pressure 10 bar to 20 bar so this is the shaded area where heat will be supplied Okay, I hope you understand it. So at a pressure P1 mega Pascal and dryness fraction 0.84, we see that the saturated liquid specific volume that is Vf1 that is equal to 0.00127 and Vfg1 this is specific volume and uh, its unit is meter cube per kg 0 0.1944 meter cube per kg so the volume and the state point one specific volume that will be equal to v1 is equal to vf1 plus x1 vfg1 <coughs> so it is 0 0.0127 plus uh, 0 0.84 multiplied by 0 0.19 triple 4 so upon simplifications you will get that specific volume is equal to you will get its value that is 0 0.1634 meter cube per kg and this volume will be equal to volume state point volume v2 also because it is provided that the process takes place as a constant at rigid vessels 
सो इट मीन्स वॉल्यूम इज कॉन्स्टेंट so for state point 2 we need two independent property pressure p2 that is given and volume v2 specific volume that is determined now so we can easily uh, now know that where our state point 2 will lie and then if you see it lie in the superheated regions uh, between these uh, two specific volume these are specific volume these are internal energy these are enthalpy and this is entropy value okay <coughs> so now next we need to find the enthalpy sorry uh, next we need to find the internal energy at the state point one so if you see that at 1 mega pascal you f1 from the sturdy streamline that is 761.68 kilojoule per kg and ufg1 that is equal to 1822 kilojoule per kg so the change the entropy at state point one will be equal to U F one plus X one U F G one seven hundred sixty one X one that is zero point eight four divided by thirteen hundred twenty two. So after calculation, you will get it U and internal energy at state point one that is equal to twenty two hundred ninety two kilojoule per kg. Next, we need to find the entropy at the state point one. So, what is SF one? That is two point one three eight seven kilojoule. Per kg Kelvin and SFG one that is equal to four point double four seven eight. So the this is internal energy at state point one and entropy at state point S one. <coughs> That is equal to SF one plus SFG one into X one. So put it values. What is SF one? That is two point one three eight seven plus zero point eight four multiply with four point double four seven eight. After simplification, you will get that the entropy S one. At state one one, you will get that is five point eight seven four kilojoule per kg Kelvin. This is entropy at state point one. Now, for state point two, pressure P two. That is provided two mega pascal. And what is the volume specific volume we determined? Uh, now that is zero point one six three five meter cube per kg. This spec this uh, pressure and this specific volume values lie within the superheated steam table. Between the values zero point one five one two and zero point one seven six eight, so this specific volumes we and this uh, with the help of this pressures we can calculate the internal energies, enthalpy and um, entropy. So if you see that at this specified value specific volume, 
in a superheated steam table uh, this value can't contain it so we need to do interplotting formula uh, for that purpose you must consider the upper value as is for subscript a and the lower value for subscript b here i will write the value you will need to observe from the superheated steam table from the portion of the steam table that i extract from the list of this superheated steam table but our concern was on this portion that's why i extract only this portion so we will need the specific volume a that is 0 0.1512 and the specific volume at lower point that is 0 0.1768 <coughs> and enthalpy A that is 2900 45 and in Paul PB then this is in Paul PB value that is 3116.2 and similarly the entropy SA value that is 7.1271 and SB value that is equal to 7.4317 now from using the interplotting formula we need to find the enthalpy at the state point 2 that will be equal to So upon civil education you will get the internal energy in the final stage that is 331 kilojoule per kg. Next you need to find the entropy at the final stage S2. Again we will use the interplotting formula. So I am writing the interplotting formula for the entropy that will be equal to. So now put the values of every corresponding variables uh, in this interplotting formula to get the final entropy S2. Here I extract it from the steam table. Seven point two eight three kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So this is the entropy at the final state S two. Okay, so next we need to determine the change in entropy. So the change in entropy is equal to s2 so what was the mass that is 0 0.05 s2 value that is 7.283 s1 value that is 5.874 after simplification you will get the change in entropy 
that is equal to 0 0.07 0 0.04 kilojoule per kelvin so that is our one answers next we need to find the heat that is supplied that is equal to mass and change in internal energy u2 minus u1 so what is mass 0 0.05 change in internal energy that is 331 at state point 2 at state point 1 that is 2292 after simplifications you will get that the heat that is supplied is equal to 36.94 kilojoule and that is our final answers for these questions problem 4.3 i hope you understand it if you are still in confusion you can ask in the comment sections 